Hey guys, it's the Techie TVI here with another video. Um, this video is on adding audio to PowerPoints for our visually impaired students. Um, feel free to share this with any of your content area teachers. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just basic PowerPoint. I don't go into how to create a PowerPoint or any of that. It's just basically adding the audio to your PowerPoint to make it accessible for the visually impaired student. Alright, so to get started I just opened a um, blank presentation. You can do it, you can format it however you want to. I'm not going to get into how to design a presentation and all that stuff. But if you just wanted some basic text and some audio recordings, that's the purpose of this video, is to show you how to do the audio recording. So it defaulted me to this um, layout for a slide. Click to add a title, click to add a subtitle. So I'm just going to call it self-determination. And then my subtitle, I might call it section one. Um, because if you send a student multiple sections um, out of a book or in a series of lessons that you already have planned out, um, that way they can keep it organized and know which one they're supposed to do first, second, third. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is just add a bunch of blank, I'll add like three more blank um, slides by clicking insert new slide. And what I want to do is just call it, um, title each one of them slide 2, slide 3, if I could type, and then slide 4. And you can add, you can type in the text, whatever you want it to say. So, content for slide 2, and then for slide 3, let's add testing audio recording for PowerPoint. Okay, so now we have our title slide and three content slides which are titled slide two, slide three, and slide four. And now it's time to add the audio recording. And the way that we do that is we just go to the insert tab or um, on the menu you can go to insert and down about halfway you will see audio but I'm going to show you here on the tabs just click insert and all the way on the far right the very last button it says audio and it when you click on it it brings up your choices you can do audio browser audio from file or you can record audio so I'm going to click that and it pops up a little box that says record sound and then you can name it so I'll, I'll title it title slide and then you have three buttons which have a record icon which is just a red circle then you have a grayed out square button and a grayed out um, play icon which is just the triangle pointing towards the right and the way you're going to record the sound is get ready <laughs> and on the far right of the box underneath the text um, underneath the text box is your timer so you can see how long you've been talking or reading the text that's on the screen um, but when once you're ready you're going to click the record button which I'm going to do it for you now so you see you can see it and so whenever we go to present the slide or look at the slideshow at the end you'll see how the recordings play as it, the student moves through it. So I'm going to hit record. Self-determination section one. I clicked the stop button and if you want to um, replay it you can hit the play button like I'm going to do now. Self-determination section one. So there is my recording. I like it and then I have a cancel or insert. You can hit cancel. Um, or click insert, click cancel, re-record it, or you can click insert if it's what you like. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to move to slide two. The uh, insert tab still open. I'm going to go all the way over to audio. Down 
the, to the third option, record audio, and then slide two. I'm going to click record. Slide two. Content for slide two. Click the stop button. Again, if I wanted to listen to it, I'll hit play. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and insert it. And then I'm going to click go to the next slide, slide three. I'm st it still has my insert tab open. I'm going to click audio and then record audio again. And I'll call it slide three. Hit record. Slide three, testing audio recording for PowerPoint. I'm going to click insert and then go to slide four. And click audio again, record audio, title it, click the record button, slide four, end of presentation, and then click insert. So in playing with this, I found that it just, when you're done presenting, even with the audio, it doesn't give an audio cue that the presentation is over. So I highly recommend that at the end of your presentation that you're making for a student, tell them that it's the end so they're not thinking that something's wrong with their computer or it's not reading the text. You can say end of presentation. So anyway, the way that you're going to want to tell your student to access this and that you're going to need to check it is you go to the slideshow tab, which is the sixth one over, and the you want to make sure there there's a checkbox at the far, at the very end of that menu that says play narrations is defaulted to be clicked um but at the the very first option is play from start that's how you're going to let your students be able to hear your audio recordings so if you send a powerpoint to a student um that's how they're going to access it to get the audio that you've recorded um, if a teacher has been teaching for years and they're like, well, I already have all these PowerPoints made up, blah, blah, blah. Say, okay, send me the slides. I'll add the audio recording so my student can access them. And now we're, what I'm going to do now is click the play from start button so that you can see it as if it were a slideshow. So you see it comes up. You can see my little sound icon. Um... And, but you didn't hear anything. What you have to do is you have to hit the next, the right arrow or click the next button. Um, if you see when I move my mouse um, in the bottom left, there's a left arrow, an et, a pen. I think that's a notes page and then um, or a notes icon and then a right arrow to advance it. What I'm going to do is just hit my right arrow key and it will start playing the audio. Self-Determination, Section 1. So next, I'm going to hit the right arrow again. You see it went to Slide 2. Slide 2. Content for Slide 2. Slide 3. Testing audio recording for PowerPoint. Slide 4. End of presentation. So now you may be saying, well, Alicia, I want it to play automatically. I don't want them to have to have extra clicks or pressing extra keys, anything like that. We, we will, we're getting ready to address that. So when I put in this audio, it brought up a speaker icon and put it right in the middle of my page. You can click and drag it and put it wherever you want to, resize it, whatever you need to do, whatever the teacher wants you to do with that icon. Um, but when you click on it, it brings up the bar so you can see the audio. You can adjust the volume of it. Um, and when you click on it, it brings up two extra tabs in this on the home bar. Um, and it says audio format and playback. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click playback. And... About midway down the bar, it's like the fourth option, um, you get play, bookmark, trim audio, you get, you have your fade volume, and then you, 
right to the right of volume, you see it says start and click sequence. You're going to change that to automatically. And you you have to do this for each audio. So I'm going to click slide two, click on my speaker, um, where I was in playback already. Um, it does, it brings it up already. I go to um, start and click automatically. Slide three, click on my speaker, change it to automatically. Slide four, click on my speaker, change it to automatically. Um, so now let's go back to the slideshow, play from start. Self-determination, section one. I want to press my right arrow. Slide two, content for slide two. Slide three, testing audio recording for PowerPoint. Slide four, end of presentation. So see, that each time I hit the right arrow, it advanced my slide and my the audio started automatically. And that's what we want. So just a easy little um, idea for us to share with our students some expanded core curriculum content or if the teacher has made a bunch of PowerPoints available but your student can't access them um, with just the text or they maybe they have trouble with JAWS or whatever. This is another option. It's a pretty simple option. A lot of us have um, PowerPoint. A lot of people's school systems pay for PowerPoint um, so you automatically have it. And it's pretty simple. It's not as in-depth as the Nearpod that I showed you earlier. Um, if your student's not very techy, they're not really good with the voiceover um, on an iPad or something like that. This is how, um, this is a way that you can share it with them so that they can access their work. Alright guys, so that was a nice short video on how to add audio to PowerPoints. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope you're having a great night or a great day, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you guys at the next video.